Good morning friends, we got the skid loader loaded up, a bunch of attachments, we're gonna start the morning out with ripping out a little bit of fence. Then we got some other things we gotta do today, thanks for joining, hope you enjoy. What we'll be replacing is around this small building site. We bring young pears over here in the late winter, early spring, get them out of the muck at home. And you know, a three barb fence, especially on baby calves, they can squirt through there pretty easily. It doesn't hold them in very well. Now these wood posts we put in probably five years ago. So we're actually gonna leave those there. They're good. Just we're gonna put new wire, new T post, T post, T posts and uh, have four strands instead of three. Didn't take long to find the hole in the glove. Look at this post. Oh. put this in must have had some jumping cows that's a pretty tall fence staples on top of the railroad tie now this fence I don't know how old it is but it's been railroad ties my entire life and they're actually standing good not breaking off so we might just leave those there put a t-post in between them you know the biggest thing was those wires they were getting old ripped down and loose so yeah we might keep those I mean if you try to buy something like that today that's gonna be Probably dang near 30 bucks for one of them. It's always a good day when we get to run the wire winder. Nabbit, that was about flawless. That's fun when it works good. Now we have this longer stretch, and then Dad's working on taking down on the other side of this fence that we just wound up. So there'll be a really short stretch that we'll have to wind through the trees. So how this works, the hydraulic hoses come out of the machine and go into this divider here. So all I gotta do is pop this. Now the fluid will flow to these cylinders and spread it out and that thing falls right through. It's a glorious thing to watch. This stretch is gonna have some woven in it, woven wire. That's a little bit harder on my machine, but hopefully we can handle it.
dad just finished up taking the wires down through this fence. It's real short, but there's trees in here, so I'm not gonna be able to drive through. So hopefully I can just sit here, wind, and it'll come and not get snagged on something. That's all tore out. We just got some big wood posts to pick up when we come back someday. I got a little nervous. It said 12.30 on there, but we just haven't changed that from daylight savings yet. It's only 11.30. We're gonna head to my place, clean the barn quick since we have the skid loader on this trailer. I've been wanting to get that done all summer. Up, be tall enough to get the skid loader in there. Well, we didn't fit in the barn, so that's a bummer. We're gonna sort through these posts. That's a good pile, reusable, and we'll make a bad pile here. Gonna get rid of all this and load it back up with something else. As you can see, that is our three-point Mr. Sprayer, and we've decided we don't need it anymore. This last year, we used the one that goes in the back of the Gator, this A1 Mr. the Cobra, and we love that, it's portability. And then the 4020, we're also gonna load up and take to Dad's good friend, Jerry. He sells equipment up in Springs, and we might be bringing something home. song of the day? No. So the song of the day is Turn, Turn, Turn by the birds. Would it be Turn, Turn, Turn? Is that part of yeah, the song? Yeah, you can sing that. Okay. Turn, Turn, Turn. Oh, good job. So that's the song of the day by the birds. And thank you, Cole, for that spot-on rendition. <laughs> I've made the difficult decision to trade off my 4020. I haven't had it that long, but we kind of need a tractor on the bale processor all winter and still be able to push snow, and uh, I just think that I'm going to get a lot more use out of this 4050 that uh, we raked with this summer. I've had it on consignment down here, and nobody's bought it, so I decided I'm going to keep that and sell the 4020. But there's also something else here that we might bring home if it tickles our fancy. But there's more. We should show them a little bit of a, you know, a sweep through Jerry's lot because, man, for a small town, Weston and Springs, South Dakota, machinery dealer, he keeps a real nice inventory and he's not afraid to, you know, 
take in trades and he's done us a lot of good I hope he feels the same way about us you can trade him a scoop shovel for a pitchfork <laughs> then when you get down with the pitchfork you can trade him back <laughs> L's double J implement Westington Springs South Dakota that's a nice little payloader yeah watch it Bring your checkbook, go watch <laughs> That's not in the budget. Not for another 10 years. Some fine, fine equipment here. There's the 4050 we're bringing that home today. This is about one of the smallest sizes, I think. Little mini excavator. We could make quite a few improvements if we had this thing on our farm. Is this what? Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, that ain't terrible. Well, should I just load her up, folks? Really, our only reserve about buying this is that it's really small. It has it's low houred. It's good price on the machine you know enclosed cab it's like a model year 16 or so so you know if you wanted to buy something like this brand new it cost you an arm and a leg so for our operation something smaller and used is what we would go with it's just you know that one or two sizes bigger than this would be ideal then of course someone will ask why a case that's just what our friend Jerry has on the lot that's the same answer to why we run Bobcat skid loaders that's just what Jerry here had on the lot, and it was, it's all about timing and location, availability of machines. safe and sound and now we're gonna take this bucket off because in the spirit of Christmas which is I guess what today is there's a different attachment going on the front Folks, as you can see, a uh, brand new bucket just showed up, and we're here with Kelly from MPS. Yep. The egg market's kind of been in the, in the need for a good egg grapple and something that comes on and off real easy, and and this is our spin on that. So. You can see the front. This is or the side. This is convex. It comes out just for a little bit more capacity. You also have one that's concave yep. for uh, fitting bales if you're grabbing them barrel style too. Yep, we had a lot of customers that were picking up bales, feeding the hay grinder or something. So we have one that with a radius that matches a bale, just about perfect. So when you go to squeeze them, it doesn't mess up the net wrap or if you're moving them off the field and stuff like that. So perfect. And one thing that I noticed that's pretty cool is there. Uh, it's kind of a tensioning system to take the slop out of the grapple here. Yep, it's. It's got an Acme threaded bolt on it, and then there's a sandwich plate welded in the mounting bracket, and then there's a sandwich uh, plate on the end of the Acme threaded bolt that when when you're taking it on or off, 
you can use this to do that, which lines this T-handled pin up. And uh, you'll loosen these whiz nuts, throw the wrench that we provide on there, and get it to a certain point when the bucket's rolled over and that pin will come right out. And then once it's back on and you are using it, you take it and crank it down and do it so it pushes the tower away from the mount and it takes all the chatter out of it. So, and it does, as far as the grapple as well, uh, these are 16 inch stroke cylinders. On the back side when the grapple comes up, there's three quarters of an inch of cushioning on it. So it takes that, that banging out of it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? It's a high volume bucket. It's, uh, it's been nice knowing you. This is not as scary as the accident. Yeah, I know. It's back and it's here to stay, I reckon. In that little bit of time that we had the door open, a bird pooped on the seat. Wow. It was a dry poop though. He had the constipation so it didn't get it didn't get in the seat bed. I wouldn't think it'd be a dry poop. It was. Huh. You know what a cloaca is? A what? Cloaca. Nope. You gotta save her days like these because it's not every day you get to go shopping. It's our pet rooster. Yep. Was that a turkey? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the little machine, look forward to using that. Uh, probably won't get at it this week. Coming up, got a lot of manure to haul, got some fence to fix, still got some cows to move around, and we hope you tune in next time. Thanks everyone, have a good one. Don't forget to lube your garage doors. It's a good excuse to get out of helping put the Christmas tree up. You're welcome.